Does anybody have ever seen companies go to bankruptcy? Have you ever asked why this used to happen? Most of these situations happen because owners don't have an idea about accounting principles. These are defined by rules that ensure businesses follow the same financial practices in order to succeed. Since I got, I got graduated, since I graduated from the University in Accounting and worked helping small businesses with their revenues and expenses, I have determined that without accounting principles, a business has a high probability to go to bankruptcy. Today I'm going to tell you about the importance of applying accounting principles in a business and the ways to be organized to present the taxes on time. So, what are the accounting principles? These are the rules and guidelines that companies and other bodies must follow when reporting financial data. These rules make it easier to examine financial data by standardizing the terms and methods that accountants must use. These are in, in, implemented to improve the quality of financial information reported by companies in the United States. The Financial Accounting Standards Board issues generally accepted accounting principles with all the different kind of people creating a small businesses today, there must be ways to make it look easy to implement. I'm going to list the principles and how to implement in them how it can benefit you. <laughs> so what are the accounting principles and how these principles can benefit you? So the accrual principle requires transactions to be recorded in the time period in which they occur. It benefits you to have all your transactions organized and well recorded. Conservatism principle, this is the general concept of recognizing expenses and liabilities as soon as possible when they are uncertainty. This benefits you to be honest with your gains and expenses and helps you to avoid fraud. Consistency principle, it states that businesses should maintain the same accounting methods or principles throughout the accounting periods so that users of the financial statements or information are able to make meaningful conclusions from the data. This principle helps you to be confident with the information recorded all the time. Cost principle states that items that need to be recorded as the actual price paid. This principle helps you to avoid losses or uncertain gains at the end of at the end of the year. Economy entity principle states that businesses entities to be treated as separated legal and financial entities. And that's why people go to bankruptcy because they mix their personal fin finances with the finances of the business. So this principle helps you to avoid bankruptcy. Um, reliability principle aims to ensure that all transactions, events, and businesses activities presented in the financial statements is right, reliable. And this helps you to consider information reliable if it can be checked, verified, and reviewed with objective evidence. How to implement the accounting principles in your, in your business? First, you need to understand account principles. Next, you need, need to hire a qualified accountant or bookkeeper. Choose an accounting method. There are two primary methods that are cash basis and accrual basis accounting. Set up a chart of accounts. Implement double entry bookkeeping debit and credit credit need keep detailed records 
uh, records and sections timely, reconcile bank statements, prepare financial statements, implement internal controls, budget and forecast your financial, comply with tax regulations, keep records of tax payments and filing, filings, use accounting software, training train and educate the personnel that is in charge of your financial in your company, regularly review financial reports, consult with professionals, and stay informed. With all these steps, you have your path clear to start. So as a Dominican accountant, I can say that accounting principles can help businesses to maintain all its revenues and expenses updated and well organized. Also, these principles can be related with church principles, which means that all this information is true. So, by following these steps and maintaining a commitment to accurate and ethical financial reporting, you can effectively implement accounting principles in your businesses, which will contribute to its long-term success and financial stability.